So I am back with another cooking video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bake your bread even without an oven. Okay? Even without an oven. So uh, I'll be doing that. So if you don't have an oven, I got you covered. Also, I'll be showing you uh, some hacks that uh, I use in my kitchen. Uh, for example, when, when, it, when it comes to making the bread, you need to measure your ingredients. So some people ask, uh, what do you use to measure and all that? You can buy measuring cups and measuring spoons and all that, but I prefer to use what is really available for me. So what I usually do, I use uh, the, the 250 ml yogurt cans so some of the cans when i when i'm done with my yogurt i don't throw them away so right here you can see i have my water here i have uh, milk here and then i have this one to measure uh to measure the wheat so uh, um the, the wheat flour i mean so every time when, when when we are baking and i say that i'm going to measure this is what i usually use to measure so you can always be using this i thought it was important to let some people know so that you don't have to sweat it too much uh, in this video, I'm going to be using two and a half cups of flour. So we are going to use this cup to measure so I can put it in there so that anything that spills can, can be saved. So I'm using self-rising flour. So we need two and a half cups. That's one cup. the regular uh, tablespoon so here we have sugar so I can go in with like uh, let's say three okay, let me add just a little. that's sugar and then salt to test I don't put too much of it but I like the salt in pastry and then we're going to measure one enter eight of instant yeast this is the yeast i use i'm not advertising anyone's goods but um, maybe you you're wondering what i use so it is instant dry yeast this is nice because you don't need any catalyst like to make it perform so we're going to use like one tablespoon and a egg so there we are good to go and then I'm going to mix this all together. So right here, this is 250 ml warm milk, lukewarm, not hot, because when you use hot milk, it's going to uh, it is going to affect the the yeast, how the yeast uh, works and all that. So I like my bread milky, so I use more of the milk than the water. So I'm going to be using just a little bit of water. Not too much because I don't want to end up adding uh, flour in here. So the milk makes the larger uh, percentage of the mixture. So as you've seen, you can use those measuring tins whenever you need to measure your ingredients. Let's say you're baking a cake and you have to measure your stuff, you can use those tins when you're making your bread even when you're making your pizza dough you can you can use the cups to measure because you don't want to have anything being too much uh, than the other stuff so 
I want to mix this uh, just a little bit with the spoon before I can put it on the table and then start kneading it. So you, you need to make sure that your bread dough is really soft. Don't make it too tough. I think now it's time to transfer it to the table. So I'm going to oil the table. So as you can see, the flour at this stage is really sticky. That should not worry you. I'm going to be using a little bit of oil. And then I'll start my kneading. So you really need to dedicate yourself during this process. It's one process that needs all your attention and effort. So I think our dough is ready. So I'm going the we're going to put it in a dough, uh, in a sorry, in a bowl, and let it sit um, for like half an uh, not half an hour an hour to one and a half hours depending on how it's going to raise i also gave you a secret last thing that i let my dough i put my dough in the oven because it's dark and warmer so that it raises easily so i'll go ahead and oil this bowl And we'll see how it will look like when it comes out. So you'll give me a second so that I can I can come with the film so that we can cover it. Slim film. Now next, I'll go use a kitchen towel and then I'll put it in the oven. Then I'll see you after it has pulled. So our dough has already risen. Punch it down to let go of the air that has been trapped in. ready 
I'm going to divide this into two because it cannot uh, fit in the pan all of it. So I'll put one part in the pan and then the other one I'll put uh, in the oven. So I'm going to spread this out. Oil the base. Actually, put the dough in and spread it using your fingers. But I used the rolling pin to help me out. Ours is not a perfect circle, but as I said, life is never that serious. So I think that's nice, it's well spread. So I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to roll out the remaining part and put it in the baking tin that should be going into the oven. to make sure that you don't leave a lot of air inside. We need to seal the ends properly because we 
ensure that every part is properly sealed so I think we are safe now so now this will be going into the oven and I'll continue showing you how to cook this other one so let's head to the kitchen so guys, there is our dough, the one that's going into the oven. So I'm going to set these to like 30, 40, uh, 35 minutes around there. And today we are using 130 degrees. And then I'm using the double heater. So let's put this inside and give it time to cook. There you go. We'll be checking in on it frequently Ow. they have the other one is prepared here in the pan so if you don't have an oven this is what you're going to do this is my chapati pan or the pan that I used to make flat bread so you heat it uh, slightly and then you place the other pan on top of it So we're going to cover it with its cover and then we'll let it cook on slow heat. So this pan underneath here is to make sure that the bread is not cooked uh, with direct heat which could make it burn before it cooks. So it's going to cook slowly and uh, yeah, you need to make sure that the heat is not too high and then you let it stay there. So we're going to give it time, let's say like 45 to 50 minutes because it's going to be cooking slowly and then we also have to turn the sides. So I'll see you. So let's check on our bread guys. Wow, it's browning nice. So I'm going to brush some oil on top. We don't want it to be so dry. So with the bread actually it needs a lot of interaction like you're not going to leave it here all alone like the bread all alone in the oven and then go away so you need to make sure that you come up here every once in a while and check on the bread and brush some oil on top to make sure that the top part is not too crusty and too dry so I think that's nice I don't know why the top always dries I don't know why but I know that you can use the oil to make sure that it does not dry excessively so I'm going to put it back into the oven and then we'll give it another time like 10 minutes for it to, to cook uh, and continue browning I shouldn't be using this by the way <laughs> I need to buy the those gloves the ones that 
help you to hold these things when you're using the oven so we're going to put it there and then we'll check on the other bread on the pan this so it's risen i'm going to brush some oil on the top as well and then we are going to turn to turn the sides and cook this top part as well so just give me a minute the lid is missing on the top so i'm going to wipe it using a serviette to ensure it's dry So that's how the bread looks below. So we're going to put it uh, back to the pan now the other, for the other side to cook. So before I put it back, I'm going to oil the pan some more. Then because it's really soft, I'm going to push it in slowly and in so as this continues to cook we're going to brush some oil skin on top here that is the timer for the oven so we're going to check if the other bread is ready or maybe we'll have to put some extra minutes down here I still want to see how this looks I like the color it's brown and as you can see the bread is soft so I think this is ready so I'm going, uh, I'm going to give it some minutes to rest before I unveil the, la the way it looks lightly. And I'm going to do this on the sitting, uh, in the sitting room where I'll be putting it somewhere. So I'm going to place it in here because now the oven is off. I'll put it there and let it stay like for, let's say like five minutes for it to cool down. And then we'll see what we have made. See you soon. Our bread is ready. So I'm going to get it out. Okay, let me put up the fire first. So there. It looks nice even on the other side. So we're going over to the sitting room uh, where we're going to try and slice this bread and see how it looks inside but it's soft. See, see how it breaks. <laughs> Lord, look at that, guys. It's hot. Let me separate. Look at that. It's totally cooked. Wow. This, this I love. So now this is bread that was cooked without an oven. Hallelujah. So we cooked this one using a pan only. Nice guys, and I like how it has cooked. It's soft, it's nice. Oh wow! 
and it's yummy so don't use an oven as an excuse as to why you cannot make your own bread at home lord this is nice look totally cooked see it's totally cooked it looks nice not so thick you know so that makes sure that the inside is well cooked let me divide this for you guys to see look very well cooked you see and then on the other side we have now the bread that was cooked using an oven so i'm going to shake this just a little bit and i'm gonna put it over here and now that's the loaf that we cooked using an oven look at it it looks nice it looks nice i feel like screaming it looks nice yes it looks nice it came out perfectly guys so i'm going to try and slice this this knife is not very sharp it's not user friendly i'm gonna buy a knife for slicing bread look at it it's cooked properly cooked i'm going to use my hands to take this up show you guys look at that look at that see well cooked and very soft see very soft spongy look at that bounces right back up you see it's soft it's nice it's well cooked guys i'm so excited so that's going to mark the end of our video so guys you can either make your bread using your oven or you can use your pan to make your bread and it's all going to come out look at the color you see there's no color difference in it in the both the both breads are well cooked so this is something that you can really have fun doing so thank you so much guys for watching i hope that you're going to have a lot of fun baking and i hope to be seeing you soon with another exciting video bye bye